What's up everybody out there in YouTube land? Nick Valencia, factory supercross team rider. Today we've got a bunch of questions. We've got the new carbon cranks that are back in stock available on the web shop. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and walk you through an install today, do an unboxing, show you everything that's gonna come when you do purchase these cranks to get them on your ride, get everything set up. So go ahead and stay tuned and we'll get to it. So when you open up the cranks, um, nice real nice packaging here you're going to get all this stuff included here so we're going to go ahead and walk you through everything so the cranks are full carbon um, they do have a 30 millimeter spindle they're going to come with a ceramic bottom bracket as well so this is your drive arm that's going to come here just about everything you're going to need i think the only thing you're going to need to buy out of here is just going to be whatever chain ring you decide to go with this is your non-drive side crank arm this is going to be a bottom bracket tool that is going to match up perfect with this bottom bracket here so no need to worry about getting any new tools it's all included there and then one large size 10 allen wrench that's going to go right in there this is going to be what you use to install and also take your cranks off last couple things here a couple of pedal washers pedal washers are going to go right in there that way it just kind of protects those pedals from tearing anything up and last but not least is just going to be a little tool here just to tighten up the cranks on the end cap there and again this works with the same 10 millimeter um, Allen wrench as well. So we're going to go ahead and walk over. We're going to go ahead and install these on a Vision F1 and we'll kind of show you how to walk everything through and get it all dialed. All right guys, so we're going to go ahead and walk you through an install here. Um, this is just a carbon vision frame, one of the nicer frames that's out there. Um, when it comes to installing cranks, this is going to be your biggest friend, okay? You want to grease every moving part on your bike typically. Um, it's going to protect the threads on the frame. It's also going to make, every, make sure everything's running nice and smooth. So don't be scared to use a good bit of it. You can always wipe up any excess, any that gets left behind, not a big deal, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get real liberal with this here. Just go ahead and use a finger. Some people use a shop rag, maybe a Q-tip, anything like that. And just go ahead and dab the inside of the frame. You're gonna wanna make sure that you get it just about everywhere. Again, it's really just gonna protect those threads as well as kind of keep everything lube. Go ahead and do both sides here. That way we get the install nice and quiet. Um, a lot of the times that we do here, um, we'll get complaints. People will say, hey, my cranks are squeaking, things like that. A lot of the times, more often than not, it's usually just lack of grease. Moving parts as they're flexing and things like that, you'll start to hear things that start to squeak. Always, if you do hear a squeak, you just wanna try to go ahead and re-grease everything, take it apart, clean out that dirt, things like that. So we're gonna go ahead and start with our bottom bracket here. Again, these elite, Cranks do come with a uh, nice sturdy ceramic bottom bracket. So these are labeled left and right. So if you look uh, right here on the casing of the bearing, it's gonna have an R and it also has a tighten direction. Um, it's funny that it has a tighten direction because why would you ever try to tighten it the wrong way? But more often than not, a lot of people don't realize that uh, bottom brackets are threaded backwards. So um, they're both actually gonna thread the same way. So it's a little bit different than a normal thing. So just make sure you pay attention to those little uh, indicators and then that'll make sure that you have a nice smooth install. So it should go pretty smooth by hand. We got the left one going here. And then the right one, get it made it up here. Um, if you do have any issues, you can always just wipe off a little bit of that extra grease. Just make sure that that interface is nice and clean and it should do it just by hand tightening. If you have to grab a wrench or something, I would recommend that you go ahead and clean up those threads a little bit more. Um, just make sure that you're not damaging the frame. Um, once you get it done there, you're going to go ahead and use this supplied tool. You don't have to tighten too crazy. I usually say get it to snug and then about a half turn, maybe two thirds of a turn after that. Again, your cranks aren't going to go anywhere. They're going to be squeezed in. So that's going to be good. So that's all good there. We're going to go ahead and take a little bit of that grease out of the way. Now with your drive side crank arm, Included in the cranks is going to be this little polyethylene washer here. You're going to go ahead and slide that right over that 30 millimeter spindle. What that's going to do is going to basically keep this bearing interface just nice and smooth there. And again, like I said, anything that's a moving part, you're going to want to hit with a little bit of grease. So let's go ahead and throw a little bit of grease on the spindle here. This grease is essentially going to keep those bearings nice and lubed and keep everything running really nice. Okay. Like I said, you can put plenty on there. You can always wipe up the excess, not a big deal. So keep a shop rag around. And we're just gonna slide it directly into the frame. Now this sometimes can be a little bit tricky, especially with a new set of cranks like this, cause they're not worn, but you can always just pop it in there. 
I always say just get open-ended hand like that. This one's pretty much slid all the way, but kind of just pop it on the end like that, and get it nice and through. Next up, and again, this is one of the quicker installs because there's just really not too much that's going on. Um, we will go over uh, bottom bracket spacers in just a second, but once we get this last one on. Now, like I said, all the, uh, all the Allen wrenches are gonna be this exact same size. So this one is gonna come with it. So wanna keep this one handy. More often than not, people have this size already in their toolbox. It's a pretty uh, standard size that gets used in the BMX world, so not too tricky. You're gonna slide it right onto the, uh, to the crank arm there, and then just go ahead and thread that bad boy on. Once you get it nice and tight, I usually recommend getting it tight and then going back. You want it to be able so that it can spin freely. You don't want it to be seized or anything like that. If you like, some people like to run them a little tighter. Some people run a little looser. Really totally up to you as long as they're not binding or anything, but they should always be able to spin freely like that and you'll be good to go. Now, the last thing we're gonna go over is what are called bottom bracket spacers. So available in the web store, as well as maybe your local bike shop, anything like that. These are bottom bracket spacers. They come in a variety of widths. This is a 2.5 millimeter. On a standard Supercross Vision F1, every chain line is gonna be a little bit different, but on a standard build, you're probably just gonna need one, maybe two of these 2.5 millimeter spacers. That's gonna go behind your bottom bracket bearing cup. We'll go ahead and do some zoomed in photos in a second. You'll be able to see that as well. But essentially, you just wanna make sure that 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 chain line is nice and straight and then everything's running good like i said as long as it's not seized as long as it's spinning nice and good you'll be good to go so that's the basic install of a speedline elite crank um, like i said it's one of the better cranks that are on the market it's been proven it's been around four or five years this is a revised model with foam core technology carbon wrap all the way from the top all the way through that pedal boss at the bottom keep from any delamination or anything one of the fastest cranks on the market if you're interested head on over to the web store supercross bmx.com and as always like follow subscribe comment let us know what cranks you're running what you'd like to see maybe a different colorway things like that these are available in gloss and matte finish this is a matte finish here and then like i said you can pick them up at supercrossbmx.com we'll see you guys soon